I remember at, at some point in second grade, I decided I was going to be an artist. And I never wanted to be anything else from that point on. The idea of being labeled and pigeonholed as a black artist, artist of color, African-American artist, Negro artist, colored artist, had political ramifications. When, I, when it first happened, it afforded opportunities. But those opportunities were limited and would not allow us to become mainstream artists. It wasn't until 10 years ago that I also made a conscious decision in the work that you, if you just saw the work, you know who painted that work. That work stood on its own artistic merit. But the problem for me is based in racism. Prior to me showing up, the work was great. But once I showed up, there was an issue. I was glazing my paintings up with high gloss back in the 70s. And my peers didn't know what I was doing. But that work was way before its time. World-renowned artist James Dupree's prominence hasn't stopped him from falling victim to a government power grab that could cost him his studio. City of Philadelphia attempting to seize the property via eminent domain. What the city of Philadelphia is doing is unconstitutional and unconscionable. What I have here is unique. And when you think about it, meaning the art, being as disrespected as I feel right now with the achievements that I've contributed to the city of Philadelphia, I have a major problem. And I want the world to know.